here with Slipknot at the Circuit of the Americas doing a question and answer. Do you practice the stage presence in rehearsals and stuff, or do you, does it just come naturally? On I stage? used to, you know, to be honest. When I was younger, obviously, you know, I would try. I would even I would practice in my you know in my bedroom. I would practice in my living room because it was bigger, and I would imagine that the living room was a bigger stage. You know, it's, it's like my bedroom was the club, the living room was the arena. So. You, more people it's it's great man it's it's good to practice and it takes the edge off of the anxiety of, of what you're gonna do 20 years ago when Jay came in backstage with his own mask right did you think that he was gonna be your drummer 20 years oh no ago? no not at all not even close I didn't even know he was gonna play drums yeah. it was kind of cool it, it was weird too because he was dressed like me which was even more yeah. like off-putting and there's that one picture of him where he's just kind of looking at the camera and he just looks so like little and lost and I'm like could somebody just give that kid a hug you know four of us here together are in a band what tips would you have specifically for us starting out that's a good question I mean it's such a different environment now when we started you kind of had to just be able to do it in a room together you know and now because of the way technology is you just never know so honestly my advice is do it old school be able to do it live. If you can't do it live, then don't do it. That is the beauty of School of Rock. It reminds people that it takes people to make it, to play it, to feel it, to do it, you know? So in addition to the question and answers, uh, the kids are going to get a tour backstage. They get to see the Slipknot Museum, and then they get to see the show tonight as guests of the band.